gonna take you guys inside. You can't freaking hear me over the wind. I'm sure of it. Okay, so first of all, thank you all so much for the concern and the well wishes over the knee. Um, yeah, my knee, it's been like two months later and uh, it's still not 100%. Uh, it mostly doesn't hurt anymore, um, but it does feel very fragile. Like I could re-injure it really easy. Um, so that's not good. I'm still taking it pretty easy. This is kind of my first project trying to get back in the swing of things. Yeah, I don't know if I ever like explained what happened. I just like tripped over the, like, you know, how the tripod comes out. Like my knee, like I, my leg just went whap across the bottom of the tripod and my kneecap just came out, kept going because of the momentum of like the step I was taking. Um, and yeah, I literally didn't even notice until like a month later that I broke the tripod. So need to add a new tripod to the list. Probably should add some microphones to the list so that I can talk out in the wind like I just tried to without the wind being horrendous in your ears. But today's actually not that windy. It just sounded way worse than it was. Yeah, I've been chatting long enough with you guys. Let's go actually start getting some work done, okay? adapter that came with these so that you could screw them in. I've apparently lost it. So here I am with an impact wrench <laughs> instead of a drill. I guess I'll just set it to the lowest setting and hope it still doesn't blow out the soil, although I'm sure it will. It happened the first time with the drill.
actually the impact wrench worked way better. The first time I did this, it was like whoo, spraying dirt everywhere. levels there. Remember which direction that was. Sure shit looks like it's gonna work to me. Is it the most elegant solution? No. But I have it all just laying around. If I could get the things a little bit closer, it might look a little nicer, but really, I mean, at the end of the day, kind of buried a little halfway in the sand, got all the vegetation in front of it. Am I ever gonna see what the bottom looks like and how it's held down? Probably not. So, I mean, the question is how, I'm, once all of them are down, though, I think it'll be less. But, yeah, I think once they're all down and tight, it'll be pretty decent. Like, right now, obviously, there's a lot of room for it to wiggle. He's been going nuts in the house for a little while. I couldn't figure out why. Well, just went to go get this watering can, which is on the patio, and there's like this noise. And the lizards love that little potting bench, but I've had some snakes up there too. And um, everybody's been having a lot of rattlesnake sightings so far this year, but I haven't had any. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting for my first rattlesnake of the season. Um, and I haven't had any rattlesnakes up on that, but I've had a red racer and another snake up there. And so I was like, oh, I bet, I bet there's a snake up there.
but then if I had stopped to think about it for like two seconds, that wouldn't make sense. Cause like, they're pretty silent. I don't think Teddy would be barking at a snake. Um, so, and then I heard the sound again. I was like, sounds like a little claw scratching at one of my plastic watering or um, plastic plant pots. I'm like, I nudge it with the hoe and I'm like, yeah, that, those are, those are nails. Like that's not a snake. So I tipped the pot, got it, got it free, tipped the pot over and the big long tail lizard uh, who has, he really likes the area. He's up on my patio all the time. It's part of his territory. Got himself stuck in there. Couldn't figure out how to get out. Came in through one of the drainage holes on the bottom and couldn't figure out how to get back out. So, that was pretty silly. Lizard rescue. The only problem is that the way that I was getting the top on was by, oh. Nope, you gotta wait for that to dry apparently. The way I was getting the uh, top on was by leaning it over and putting it on and then standing it up. So if I screw it in, now at the base, I kinda can't do that. But I guess I gotta wait for all this to dry anyways, so. Maybe I'll take you inside and we can go look at the top together because I have just a little bit of stuff to do that too. Sure, that sounds like a plan. Alrighty, so... Oh god. This is the turbine. Turbine, whatever. Um... I don't see that it came, it didn't come with any sort of gaskets. I think it's just supposed to be metal on metal. The there's a bearing in here and the bearings seem to be decent. I think the problem child was and is this shaft, but basically the um, bearing was wearing like a notch in here. And so the whole thing was wobbling and it was like getting worse and worse and worse. Um, so I was trying to find somebody who could weld it, and I figured we'd just weld a new shaft on, but the person who wanted to weld it, just some person on Facebook, they decided they wanted to fill it in and then grind it down to, like, make it flush, and it worked. The only problem is that I think it's just a little narrow at the top as it is, like, compared to the bottom. So, the other thing is, like I said, there's like not gaskets on anything, and so everything just got covered in these, like, grease. This, oh, it, that's still sticky on that side, but this is just a washer. There's not a rubber seal or anything on this. It's, that's just all the grease that has seeped out of this. I, I was, I was considering potentially maybe putting like a strip of like electrical tape or something around it to like first of all make like a pseudo gasket and second um it would take up just a little bit of space for for the bearing because there is a little bit of play in it so i wiped everything off with some acetone put a layer of electrical tape on it and uh we'll see what happens i don't have high hopes but then again this isn't something fancy and expensive, and if it doesn't work, I guess I will take it in and get the shaft welded again. Or, I guess for the first time, really. <laughs> okay, so that took two tries to get the tape to stay, but now that the tape did stay, um, this seems like it's on there really well. I don't know if this is a false sense of security and it won't last or it won't hold up. Um, at this point, the only play is in the bearing itself, and the bearing doesn't have any grease in it right now, so I'm hoping that once I get the grease gun out, it will stop doing that so much. Also, the whole thing is just not a great design. It's obviously just ornamental because, like, that's how much space there is. You know what I mean? The whole thing could wobble. 
Let me get a cotter pin in this and get some grease in it and let's take a look here in a second what's going on. Well, uh, there's some grease in there as you can see. It is spewing out the bottom. So, I guess we're gonna call it good enough. The good thing is that it no longer screeches and squeals so it's silent for the most part out there, at least right now. Uh, who knows how long it'll last this way? I get bothered by noises, so we'll see if it starts making noises and bothering me in the near future or if this lasts for quite a while. <laughs> tonight so we'll see if it holds up a little bit I, I the concrete obviously would be better because obviously the sand and it's not just this like if I put like a little side table on the ground after the rain comes it like you know when you stand in the sand on the beach and the waves wash in and out and you start sinking that's what happens out here too with the rain so like my tables are like unlevel because they're sinking. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I think stuff like that on this sand is gonna happen. But for now, I think I'm gonna call it good. And I think I'm gonna just choose to be happy with this. Mm -hmm. 